A content mindset is important for your business. Here's why. Well, shock of all shocks, looking at what we have here, special guest star, Mr. Mark Traphagen. So, Mark, how are you today? Eric, it is so good to see you again, uh, and so good to be at least virtually back in this studio where I spent so many hours in the past. And, and it's awesome to have you back here, too. Uh, I've been so looking forward to doing this again with you. Uh, and uh, uh, we're we ready to have at it? Let's do it. All right. Awesome. Question number one, Mark. What is a content mindset? Well, the content mindset is a concept that I've been mulling over for a while now. But the heart of understanding it is at understanding what a mindset is, first of all. So we get, as marketers, we tend to get really caught up in tactics or even strategies. Uh, both are essential. Both are good. But at the heart of true effective marketing has to be what I call a mindset. And a mindset is just simply a way of seeing the world. We all have them. We all have them, schemas, whatever you want to call them in our minds, the way that we perceive things. Marketers need to have one too. And I have come to believe that the way that we approach content effectively and prejudicial, I'm a content marketer, uh, is actually a good framework for understanding and having the proper mindset for all of marketing. So when I say a mindset, I'm not talking about a rigid set of rules. Uh, it's more a lens that gives us perspective on everything else. So let me go now to a definition of the content mindset. To me, a content mindset is seeing all of marketing as essentially content, no matter the channel, medium, or target. I don't mean content is the whole thing or everything, but that content fills and flows and makes all of marketing working. So if you understand how content works, you're going to have a good framework for your marketing. So that's the basic approach I'm taking here. So that's great. So now we know what a content mindset is, but what's the upside? Like, why should marketers adopt the content mindset? Well, I can answer that by starting about thinking about uh, the five things that I think content does, and then we're going to relate those to marketing. So uh, first of all, content is meant to attract attention. You put content out there, whether it's a, a blog post, a video like this, something on social media, a, a, a billboard, uh, pl placard in the subway, whatever content you're putting out there, the first thing you want it to do is get attention, is to get somebody's eyes, ears, and mind focused on what you have to say. The next thing is your content should work to frame your brand. It should, without being too in your face or overtly, it should tell the brand story. It should, People should be able to identify quickly what your brand is about, what you do, what you bring uniquely to the marketplace. Next, you want your content to create an audience. You want it to bring people back. You want people to want to see your content again. You want them to actually begin to look for you out there when they need information on what you do or when they want to go to the next steps, which hopefully eventually is, of course, purchasing whatever it is that you do. Um, next, you want to connect to mind and heart, and nothing does that better than content. I talk about this a lot, that you've got to, as a marketer or in content, you've got to be not only speaking to the mind, answering the intellectual questions, fulfilling that need, but also appealing to the emotions that are at the center of all human decisions. And finally, uh, apologies to Jay Bear here. I'm going to steal from him. I was going to say something to, about that. <laughs> content needs to convince and convert. Um, it needs to lead those to the stages where, okay, I'm convinced, like, I need what you have, I want to buy it. So content is all those things, but if you think about it, so does effective marketing. So that's why I talk about a content mindset. I mean, if you understand how content works in humans to create marketing situations and decisions, then you've got a great framework to do all of your marketing. So all marketing is really constructing the right content in the right context in the right place, the right time, to the right audience. Got it. So how does that work out in the end then in everyday marketing? I mean, what's it, what's it, how does it roll out, you know? Yeah, so let's take that into the marketing world now. We talked about it in the context of, of content. Um, as a marketer, your first job is to attract attention. You open the doors. You start a business. You, you, you get a, a business plan down. You have a, a goal that you want to achieve, but you can't be shouting into a void. You've got to find a way to get people to see what you're doing, to get them to understand the uniqueness of it, why it might, might connect with needs or desires in their own lives. So like these here's why videos that you, that you do and that we've done for years together are a great example of that. 
they attract attention, they inform, they are interesting, um, they connect people with your brand and what you do. So next, we said you need to frame your brand. So in everything you do, you need to help your audience understand what you're about, as we've mentioned that. And again, you do that through content, but all of your marketing needs to do that. It needs to connect in some way, ultimately, to what you stand for, what you're about, what makes you unique in the marketplace. Third, we said you want to create an audience. Uh, your market needs to go beyond just getting attention. You need to begin to get retention. You need to get loyalty. You need to get recognition. You need to get to that point where people uh, not only look for your content or welcome it when it comes into whatever medium that they're, they're on at the moment, but actually begin to go actively search for you in the marketplace, whether that's through a Google search, looking for you in a brick-and-mortar store, wherever it is. That's, that's your goal. The fourth thing we said is connecting mind and heart. Think about that in all of your marketing again, that if you're not involving the whole human being, the whole aspect, their intellect, their, the things they think about, the things they express and say that they want and need, but also moving them through the emotions, through the human emotions of humor, or it be uh, passion, or it be need or want or desire, whatever it is, then you're not doing effective marketing. And finally, of course, you need to convert. You need to have steps in your marketing that make it uh, possible and as easy as possible, as frictionless as possible, and as enjoyable as possible for someone to take advantage of what you're offering. So that's what I mean about moving a content mindset, what we know as content marketers, into all of our marketing. And I, I hope your audience will think about that, reflect on that, and see how that might improve their overall marketing campaigns. And I couldn't agree more, Mark. I mean, so many people miss this bit about creating the connection and I really it starts with understanding what's going on and what's the motivations and the desires of the people you're trying to reach and if you're not managing all your communications to help drive that you're inherently missing a ton of opportunity so such such great content as always uh, Mark you know you're my dear friend such a privilege to be able to do this again uh, with you so thanks so much for joining us again on Here's Why. Here's Why. 